Never forget to add keywords to your photos. Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Trent. In this post protection tips, we're continuing our discussion all about Lightroom Classic. Specifically, in this video, we're going to be going over keywords. Now, I know that after a shoot, I'm always really excited to begin editing my photos. But because of some past bad experiences, mainly losing images or not being able to find them fast enough, I've learned that I need to spend a few minutes first organizing my images. Now, this often isn't a very popular topic with students, but I can't overemphasize the importance of these steps. Now, I always recommend that photographers organize and back up their images prior to editing. And there are a few different processes of doing both tasks, many of which we'll be going over in future videos, so be sure to subscribe. Now, keywords are a component of the organization process. I can promise that someday, especially as our photo catalogs grow, you'll be so glad that you took a few moments to add keywords to your images prior to editing. So, what are keywords? Keywords can be used to help us organize and manage our photo catalogs. Image metadata describing the contents of a photo can contain keywords, and we can use them to search, find, and identify specific images. Now, one great thing about them is that they can be seen by other software which supports XMP metadata. Keywords are similar to social media hashtags. You can search a, for a hashtag to find posts related to that specific tag. Now, keywords work in a similar way. Here, let me show you what I mean and how they work. All right, to begin, we're here in the library module in Lightroom Classic. Beneath the histogram on the right side panel, we can see a keyword in dropdown. Let's expand that panel. Now, here at the top is where we're going to find our keywords for the selected image. Below that, you see keyword suggestions and keyword set. To add a keyword to an image, just select the image and either select the keyword tags text box or the text field underneath the text box. Let's add mountain biking as a keyword. All I did was type it into this text field and hit enter. And now you can see that that keyword has been added to that photo. To double check, we can look at the thumbnail of the image and see that a keyword badge icon has been added to the bottom right corner of that image. Now you'll also notice that underneath my keyword, below the keyword sets, we see that mountain biking has also been added as a suggestion. So what I can actually do now is I can select the next two images that are also mountain biking images, either select the suggested keyword or the keyword set down here at the bottom. Now you can see that badge icon has also been added to those images. So this is the first initial step. Start adding keywords, just basic text describing the contents of the image, whether it's a picture of a person, whether it's a picture of a place, what the activity that's going on, maybe the seasons and whatnot. You can use whatever keywords will help describe what the contents of that image are. Now, let me show you that they're searchable. Now, let's say I'm deep here inside my catalog and I can't find the images I'm looking for. One thing I can do is try to find the images. I can go up to library and select find or press command F. Now in this text field, I can search for mountain biking and we can see that the three images containing those tags are the only images available because now I'm filtering based off of this search criteria. Now, if I want to get rid of that search criteria, I can just press command L and that drop down that search field will now disappear. So hopefully you can see that keywords can be useful for organizing and finding, locating your images within your catalog, especially as the catalog starts to grow. Now let me add a few more keywords to this activity. All right, I've taken the time to add certain keywords to this mountain bike image. Activities, biking, mountain, mountain biking, summer, United States, Utah, Wasatch Front. So location and what's happening within the image. Now you can see my keyword set has been updated to reflect those keywords I just added to that image. Now if I select the other two mountain biking images, I can use this keyword set down here to select each image or each keyword I want to add to each image. Now, all three images will contain the entire set of keywords from that first image. Now, I can also save this keyword set as a template. If I drop this down where it says recent keywords, I can select edit set. And now, those keywords that I just used for those three images, I can drop this top option down where it says presets and set select save current settings as new preset. Let's call this one mountain biking. 
And now, any time I do a mountain biking shoot, I can select mountain biking as my keyword set and automatically just click and select which keywords I want to use to add to those photos. All right, utilizing the process I just shared with you, I've added loads of keywords to my image catalog. Let me show you how you can further organize your keywords so you don't have too many of them. So underneath the keywording panel, there is a second keywording panel. This one's called keyword list. Let's go ahead and expand that panel. Now you can see all of the keywords I've used throughout my image catalog. Now, as your catalog grows, this list is going to get a lot larger and it can be a bit daunting to look at that many items in the list. So let me show you how you can organize them. So for instance, I have a few images that contain the keyword activities. Now I have a bunch of different activities, whether it's biking, dance, hunting, mountain biking, uh, running. I can actually create a hierarchy for my keyword lists. So underneath activities, I'm actually going to drag and drop biking and drop it onto activities. And you can see a drop down arrow now appears. I'm gonna do the same for hunting, for mountain biking, running, I forgot to put dance in there, snowshoeing, swimming, I think that might be it for now. So underneath activities now, I have a number of different items organized into subsets or organized underneath activities. Now, one thing I can do is I can click on the arrow next to each keyword and it will show me the images for that specific keyword. So hunting, you can see these three images of a bow hunter. Now to get back to my entire library, I can turn library filters off by pressing Command L. Now I probably want to do the same thing for locations. I have a number of locations here in my keyword list. So I'm gonna select this plus icon next to keyword list and type in locations. Now I'm not gonna put in site activities. So I'm gonna select create and you can see I have locations here. Now I have Europe, I have Germany, I have, let's see what else, we can put mountains in there I guess. The United States, I have Utah, I have specific towns and locations. That would be a good one. Touch front. That's now this is a mistake. I can right click on this and select delete. Hit delete. And now that mistake will now be deleted from my keyword list and the keyword will be deleted from the images. So getting back to my locations, I also have one more called uh, the Rue Valley. So here in Europe, I can actually put Germany inside of Europe and Rue inside of Germany. So you can see you can create a hierarchy. United States, let's put Utah inside the United States and then open that up and we can drop in Wallsburg in Utah, Wasatch Mountains, and even the Wasatch Front. Those are all locations found in Utah. So you can see that you can use this keyword list to organize and also find your images much more quickly. All right, let me export these three hunting videos. I'm gonna use a user preset that we created in my last video. Click here to watch that video. User presets when exporting save a lot of time. I'm gonna select location. Let's call this hunt, create, choose. All right, now we can see that export is finished. I'm actually gonna open up Photo Mechanic to show you that, that, that those keywords exported attached to those images. All right, hopefully you can see how important keywords are. They help you save a lot of time by organizing so you can find your images much more quickly. And the great thing is they also export with your images so they can be used in other software. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.